What's happening guys, Veggie here, and today I'm doing a review on the Boxing Bar Freestanding Punch Ball and Reflex Bar. It's, if you don't already know, I'm pretty sure it's a knockoff of the Spa Bar and many other retails that are very similar. But I managed to pick it up for 250 quid off eBay, so for me it was generally cheaper to purchase this. It's very easy to move as you can show. I've only filled it with like 70 kilos of water, so I can just push it around, hopefully lift it up and empty it if I need to, to disassemble it and move it. Um, the, the height adjustment is pretty much limitless, you can change it to whatever height you want, it goes really high, probably up to 7 foot pretty much. And um, the, the way you want to adjust the height is so the bar is touching your chin like I illustrated just there. Um, so basically you're aiming to get hit with it in the face pretty much, that's what you're trying to block. Um, so that's where I kind of set off the bar. And you do that with just a clog on the side there, you just unspin it. Comes with a PU uh, leather ball I believe, which is very... Uh, easy to punch but obviously you want to be a bit careful you don't want to punch it too hard this thing is just at the end of the day built for reflex more than power and you should use it like that you don't want to damage the equipment and um, in general obviously it's made of steel uh, steel base steel top part and um, one thing to note is you need to use the allen keys on the bottom there um, because I had to loosen the um, bolts the nuts so I could actually fit the bar in so something I just watch out for it doesn't mention that in the instructions and also you want to tighten the top there with a spanner as well. And because um, that screw may come use over time and it did for me. So I ended up having to use essentially a Allen key for that as well. And obviously a top part is made of foam, that top part there. And the bar itself is covered in a nice foam coating. So it doesn't feel too hard on your face when you do actually get hit. I wouldn't recommend removing that obviously. It's there for safety reasons. And it comes with two targets on there. You can see red and blue. As I mentioned earlier, what you'll typically want to do here as well is for floor space, I definitely recommend you have like two by two meter squared layout. All right, you guys, so before I show you a sparring video, I thought I'd just do a quick conclusion of what I think of the product. I think it's absolutely amazing. Uh, it's pretty much the closest, closest thing I can get to a sparring partner while I'm quarantining in isolation. And uh, for me, it's, it's the closest thing, you know, replicating a punch. So you're punching something, it's coming back at you. And it helps you develop those reflexes, especially for a beginner, that's crucial. I think the smaller things that you might need to focus more on is if you're a beginner recording yourself, uh, trying to learn to keep your guard up, your chin tucked and the small little details, learning to duck properly. And it's good. It's good like that, you know, recording and then playing it back and monitoring your progress, especially in isolation. So that when you come actually back to sparring with sparring partners, you know, maybe you would have developed those good habits now and you'd be, actually be better at sparring. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. Um, so in general, I'd say it's not only amazing for boxing, it's also amazing for Muay Thai. On the targets, you can use diagonal elbows while having your guard up, uh, diagonally up elbows or just straight elbows across. So it's a lot, it's really good for drilling some of those techniques as well. So I highly recommend it, you guys. I've been using Muay Thai on it as well, uh, just generally as a hybrid. It's pretty, it's pretty good for boxing and Muay Thai. Um, I'd say the only thing that you're going to struggle with is obviously hooks, uppercuts. You can't do that on the bar. And obviously, if the ball's up there, you, you're essentially, uh, I, th I think you could try a bit of technical work there as well. Obviously, because you can't use power on the ball, um, you're just going to have to use this on a very technical basis with minimal power. If you want to work on power, then you obviously just buy a heavy boxing bag. But anyway, you guys, I, I, I'm just going to go straight to sparring now. Now I'm just going to show a video clip of me sparring. Obviously, me myself, I'm not a professional. I've only been boxing and doing Muay Thai for about a year now. 